So the new Rainbird ESP ME3 has some special features that are in the controller that a lot of people might not know about. Now, the little card here highlights all of, the, all of those features and this card comes in the box with the controller. Basically, it comes down to this knob and these two buttons. So you'll see that there's, uh, you can save programming, restore programming, you can set master valve by station, you can do odd and even watering, you can set rain sensor bypass by station, you can restore to factory defaults, you can set the flow sensor bypass by station and you can set an interstation delay. So all it is, is turning the dial to the correct spot. So that date and time spot is for saving a program and then you hold down those two buttons and the program is saved. If you want to restore that program, you turn it to the next dial, which is start times and the program is restored and that just continues on around that dial. So the run times one is for setting a master valve by station. There's obviously a little bit deeper uh, work that needs to be done inside that because you need to go through and choose which station. You can do odd and even watering down here. So the water days at the moment are just set to days. We can change that to odd or even, so that's odd. So this would mean the controller would turn on on the days that are odds, one, three, five, seven, and so on. Or we could do evens, which are, you know, two, four, six, eight. This is really handy for places with water restrictions that only allow you to water on the days of the week that are odd or even. The weather station one is to set the rain sensor bypass by station, so you hold that down. It says the sensor is on, or you can then go in deeper and say yes or no, using the arrows up and down and moving across. So you might wanna have no weather station on, say, uh, a fernery that's undercover, or you might wanna have no weather station on a valve that's being used to top up something with water, which is um, not gonna be affected by rain. And then we go around to seasonal adjust. That is to restore to factory defaults. This is really handy if you're not sure what you've done and you just wanna clean it up, you just hold down those two arrows clears it up. Set flow sensor bypass by station. Obviously you go to the flow sensor and do this. This is very similar to the rain sensor. You're just choosing whether or not the flow sensor needs to act on behalf of that valve or not. So the off button with the two arrows is for setting an interstation delay. You hold those two down and then it'll allow you to set a delay. So we've got program A, B, C and D, and then you can set the number of seconds that uh, you want that delay to be. I'm not sure how high that goes but it starts running and that'll give you an opportunity for the system to catch up. So up oh, goes into minutes. So you can, there you go. So you can go 30, 40, up to an hour. I can say that can just, okay. Well, it goes into the hours. So if you had a rainwater tank that was topping up slowly and you were watering from that, you could give that, you know, a certain amount of time to get that done. So these are the special features on the ESP ME3. This is a brand new controller. Uh, we did a video on it yesterday. So if you are interested in that, we'll put the link of that video in the comments below this video. If you've got any questions or comments about this or anything else that we're doing, please feel free to chuck them in the comments. We are really keen to hear what's working for you guys and what videos you like. And as always, if you like the channel, please subscribe.